What's up everybody, Decisive TV here. We're back for another video and we're on the single player world per usual. And today um, we're going to be doing a suggestion I got on last video, actually just like about an hour ago. Uh, somebody wants me to make a chicken farm, which I actually think is a great idea. And uh, I, I kind of needed something to do this episode. So uh, we're going to go over to our current chicken farm, but we're going to make it better. We're going to make it um, into a not egg farm. We're going to make it into like a, a cooked chicken farm. So hopefully we can actually have like a source of uh, food that is pretty sustainable, at least until we get villagers and then we can get golden carrots that way. So uh, I actually need to make a couple of things. I need to make one more observer. This uh, chicken farm is pretty easy to make as well. So uh, we shouldn't have to worry about it taking too many resources. Um, I do, however, kind of want to make it a little bit pretty. So we're going to, oh man, have a bit of stuff now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, actually, wait, I think I need these, and then a couple sticks, and then we'll take a piece of quartz, and then we will make a, oh my god, wait, does a comparator, does it take stone? Oh shoot, of course it does. Uh, I do need white stained glass, luckily I got a bunch of sand and made it into glass, so... Um, oh, while that's cooking up, we can also get, oh, wait, 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 I already have the deep slate on me. So I got a bunch of deep slate from, uh, mining out the rest of the tunnel down to the mine shaft, which we will probably go check out in a little bit. So I can show you guys the progress I made on that, but, uh, I kind of want to make some polished deep slate and then some deep slate bricks. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Ah, dang it. Okay, well, I guess we got to move the smoker down to here. We can just put that in. Uh, well, um, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, well, we're going to have to move this furnace up here, and then we can put hopper there. Uh, so... Um, I think we might actually keep that egg farm there. Uh, but we might just make a separate uh, cooked chicken farm. Okay, perfect. And then we can move this up here. Those. There we go. Oh my god, wait, what am I doing? I didn't need to do that. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oops. Okay, well, we will just put that back in our stash. All right, uh, we got to make a comparator. Pretty easy, pretty smooth. I remember whenever comparators got added into this game, kind of wild. Uh, do I have any white dye per chance? No, I gotta make some. Unfortunate. Luckily, it's pretty easy to make. So we'll just do that. Uh, that's definitely enough glass. Um, Okay, let's see. So I got the deep slate, deep slate bricks to make it look all pretty. Uh, some white stained glass, pretty good. Uh, let's put this glass back, actually. I um, guess I can put those things in there. Did I need anything? Oh, yes, I need eh, probably just a single chest for right now. Um, if it actually does produce like a lot of chicken, a lot of cooked chicken, then maybe we'll we'll uh we'll expand to a double chest. But for right now, I think a single chest will probably work. So I have single chest hopper uh for the cooked chicken. Oh, I need a uh, a slab. Um, so chickens, your uh your buddies down in here in this double chest are gonna turn into my cooked chicken. Uh, well, actually, they're gonna produce eggs for me, and then they'll they'll turn into cooked chicken. Actually, it'd probably be more efficient if I just like took the chickens that are in here so where should we make it probably just somewhere on the shore here right like it's going to be an above ground thing uh but i kind of want to keep the shore clear um at least close by because i, I kind of have 
couple plans for that in the future. Uh, maybe we make it like right about here, right next to the other chickens, possibly. Pretty good spot. Um, I would do like a, a fancy house, but I, I don't have a whole lot of time. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should like work on a couple things every single episode, uh, or towards things every episode. So then we can do bigger and better projects. That might be a more efficient. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to lay this thing out. So we're going to have the chest right here with a hopper and then a slab on top of the hopper. Um, and then we can just do this. Uh, get some white stained glass. Do that. Oh, I need dispensers. Darn it. I'm an idiot. I forgot about those. Ugh. So for dispensers, we're going to need six string, six sticks. That was just six. Play with sticks. I uh, make a couple bows. Uh, I got to grab some of this cobble. Luckily, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, wait. I need redstone as well. One, two. And then, you know what? We're just going to use the book because that seems a lot more efficient. Okay, there we go. Can't wait for this auto crafter in 1.21 to come out. So we can automatically craft dispensers. That's going to be absolutely insane for automation. It's becoming night. Should probably sleep first. I don't want to get attacked by a creeper in the middle of the night for no reason. Uh, it is night. Look at the sun. It's right there. Like you can already see the stars. Boom. Okay, so we'll... Um, I, I lit up a lot more of the area, by the way. Uh, mostly along the the hillside uh, because it was very very dark up up around our, our target practice area up there uh, around our enchantment state or area um, and that sort of stuff uh, eventually whenever we figure out or do a bit more progress along uh, our world here like along the the river because the, what I intentionally a plan is to have kind of like a, a riverside village so we'd have houses set up and that sort of stuff and i think giving the houses a purpose uh would make them a lot more lively and much more of a reason to actually have houses alongside a river because I, I want it to be almost like a trading village sort of i think would be pretty cool but um yeah so eventually we'll move all these farms and that sort of stuff uh and we'll have like a trail leading through with houses on the side and like a dock sort of area for ships to come and go um and i want to put like the bamboo farm in one of these houses or i want to put a chicken farm uh in one of these houses and that sort of stuff i think would be pretty cool so uh eventually this will be moved but for right now uh, i just gonna stay right here until you know we we create more more house um which to do that in a couple days is very very hard to do <laughs> uh especially since i don't play this like every single day um so yeah definitely gonna be a difficult one but uh that will uh, have to eventually happen and maybe the the schedule the upload schedule will change i don't know but we'll we'll see so in this bottom hopper or that uh, so we put these two dispensers here one of them is going to dispense the eggs the other one's going to dispense a lava bucket to kill the chickens or to cook them per se uh so we'll do that but we'll have this hopper leading into the bottom one which will dispense the eggs uh and then we're going to um i feel like i should get a carpet for this just so the chickens aren't like sitting in the hopper but i don't think it really matters so you know what we're not gonna do that oh and i'm already out wait i can just make more easy okay so we're gonna do something like that i want to put glass on the sides just so we can see the the chickens that are producing our eggs i think would be pretty cool um so we're gonna need to put blocks around meow not lose one so we're gonna do that glass in the front here um oh wait these need to be stone bricks not polished deep slates 
Okay, I did that on this side too, huh? Oh my gosh. Such a great builder. Okay. Um, so, lava bucket, eggs. Uh, chickens need to go in here. So, we will just build up around it. Oh my gosh. Uh, how do I make... Can I make it out of these? Oh, I can. Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, so, chickens will go in here. Lava bucket needs to go in there. Um, what else do I need? Oh, right. On this side, we actually need to put the observer and then um, just a block there for right now because eventually the other observer will go right here and then redstone dust. So I guess that's something else I need to get. Uh, let's just go ahead, build a little staircase down. Okay, chickens, are you ready to be free? Free from your prison? Come to me if you want to live. And don't fall in the other hole because you will probably die. What the? What was that? Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Okay. So, cool trick. Boom. Easy as that. You just you breed them up. They make the chickens. They make the chickens while they're going in the hole for you. Ah, you guys are dumb. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually... I wonder how many chickens I have in there. Can I see? With F3, F3 screen, sir. Oh my God, you guys are already pooping out eggs. I don't even have it ready. I don't have it ready. What are you doing? Stop. Okay, so we can actually, uh, okay, well, I, I guess I couldn't tell. Um, let's just take these eggs and we'll throw them in here. Oh, oh wait. Uh, okay. So how many of, how many can I fit in here? How many more? Oh my god. Oh, hi there, baby chick. Okay. For a... How many can I fit? Oh my gosh. Where's the entity cramming? I hear you pooping out the megs. Stop it. It's supposed to be for later. Okay, I guess we're... Oh. I guess we're gonna need more egg. Okay. Let's. Oh. Holy cow. Are they just going into the corners and they're not actually like entity cramming? What the heck is happening? Because I don't want to come back and have like all my chickens be dead. That would be weird. Oh my god, how many. Uh... How many are fitting? What the heck? There has to be like 50 chickens in here, dude. I thought, okay, I okay, I really thought you could only fit like 24 entity entities in a block, but I forgot that chickens are kind of weird. Um, well, we're gonna come back, and there's gonna be a whole lot of raw chicken by the time these chicks grow up. So, can I? And there, there should be a way that I can see how many. Um. Entities. Okay, yeah, there's like 50 chickens in there. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and get rid of these and hope for the best. Hopefully, you guys grow up and live a long, happy life and you don't instantly die because of entity cramming. That would be very sad for you. Uh, okay. So, we'll just do something like this. Go ahead that around oh i actually i do need one of these holes open so i can see okay well since that's basically already filled i guess we can oh my gosh dude i gotta turn these chickens down oh my god okay so now that we got those we can just do observer there we'll do that and that and then we got to go get a bucket of lava. And we also got to get a, a couple pieces of redstone from our house. All right, bucket. And let's go see if we can get some lava. I think there's a, a lava pool pretty close by somewhere. Um. Oh, wait. I also need that. The redstone dust. Man, I'm just forgetting everything. You guys ever go into like... I heard a wandering trader. Hmm. 
You guys ever like start thinking of stuff that you gotta do and then you just go in the glitch mode so you like run this way and then you run that way and then you run the the other way again and you just keep on doing that a few times? Hey, your llamas are all the way over here, bud. Terrible trades. You're garbage. Yeah, you guys don't hate me because you're not his. Hmm. Fun. Okay, let's go find this lava pool. We got to get this lava bucket, and then we got to put those two redstone dusts down. Actually, I should probably do that before I insert the lava bucket. Uh, don't let me forget, guys. I know you're probably going to comment and tell me uh, that I forgot, but we'll be okay. Oh, yeah. Some lava, and it was pretty close to our base. I completely forgot that this thing was here. And I've seen it from my base, the light up here. And I'm like, I don't think I put a torch up there before. Hi there, John. Um, oh, yeah. So I think I might as well show you guys the work that I've done. So I just put the end side in here. Nothing really has been done to the hallway uh, at all. Um, but I did expand the hallway a bit and I put in the stairs. So uh, now it leads all the way down to the mine shaft and holy cow is this one heck of a trip sometimes kind of it's not actually too bad uh going back up is actually a lot easier but um i'm kind of scared of the uh the cave up there and if anything will drop down so maybe we should enclose the staircase but um I i'm not completely sure maybe we should take this stuff as much as we can um and then that. Okay, uh, well, let's go back up. So I just like continually spam spacebar and you guys can actually probably hear it. But yeah, so this gets me up really, really, really quick. The harder I spam spacebar, the faster I spam it, the, the quicker I go. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get back to the base before I drowned with that trident ends up killing me. Oh, I hear him. Where is he? Oh, I hear you. Oh, there you are, buddy. Ugh. I'm coming for that trident. Ugh. Dodge and weave. Ow. Ow. It hurts. Hey, stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Did you give me the trident? No. He didn't. Boo. That would have been awesome if he gave me the trident. Well... Another day, another day without a trident. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I haven't asked in a little bit or a couple episodes. Um, I just completely forgot. I don't know how. But how is your guys' day going? Hopefully, it's going well. My my day has been going pretty good so far. Uh, I have work tomorrow, and I'm not super duper thrilled about it. But, you know, work is work. You got to work to mer earn money. To earn money. Uh and that sort of stuff. So get get your stacks up, not your funny up, or something like that, whatever the saying is. Uh, okay, so let's just go back to the chicken farm. Just quit getting distracted by random iron ingots. And hi, llamas. Oh, are, you guys are going to be my friends now, right? Yes. Hey, buddy. Stop it. Let me tame you. You are my friend. You are my friend. Oh my god, how do you not love me? You let me ride you for so long. What the? Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Wait. Wait, what? Huh? Wait. With, what? With Trader Llamas, can you actually put... Hold on. Hold the phone. With the... Wait. What? I didn't know that you could put... Okay, you know what? My mind is boggled right now. That's crazy. I didn't know that you could put uh, carpet on trader llamas to give them a different, um, like, coat thing. I, I don't remember what they're called. Okay, so let's not forget our goal. We got to put the redstone down and then put in the lava. I'm going to cover that so I don't die. So I don't accidentally walk up here and I'm like, mm -mm -mm -mm. we're chilling. Okay. So putting in your own eggs actually doesn't work. How the... What? 
No. Well, I guess that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be it for the build. Let's go. It looks like a an industrial chicken hut, and oh my goodness. <laughs> so many in there oh my god you chicks are gonna grow up and you're so gonna die from entity cramming oh my goodness wow all right so basically how this farm works is they lay egg the egg go through hopper this comparator right here turns on for a short second uh because the hopper sends out that pulse letting it know that there's an item in there which goes through the observer which turns on the redstone up there oh my god we just saw an in action which turns on the redstone right there, which activates that observer because uh, it observed the uh, the redstone right there. Um, let's see if we can get up here. And then it turns on this redstone, which powers both of the droppers using... Um, I don't know if it's necessarily just regular redstone or... Well, I mean, I guess it's part of regular redstone, but uh, or if it's bud powered, but... Uh, that redstone above that dropper or dispenser powers both of them. And then the chicks or the uh, the eggs get fired onto this half slab or into this half slab. And then chicks can spawn from, from the eggs, which then uh, chicks are actually like a half block tall. So a slab is like perfect for it. Um, and then the lava is up there. Uh, so whenever they grow into full chickens, they're... Uh, more greater than a half block tall which means they get trapped in the lava uh, which turns on for a split second and that's all they really need because chickens don't have any health they are very squishy things yes aren't you chickens the the chick chick chicken chickenception or something like that um yeah so it's pretty easy farm, pretty easy to build. Uh, I gosh, I don't remember whose tutorial I used to to build this thing, um, but I I didn't wanna wanna have to build my own because I am not a redstone nerd. Um, actually, I do like building my own redstone contraptions. It's just for what we're doing right now and how quickly I gotta I gotta make this video. I'm sorry, chicks. I'm sorry. You'll have a better home in the future. I promise. I think um but yeah so uh link will be in the description for that tutorial uh but i feel like i walked it through with you guys pretty well not not in a tutorial fashion hopefully more entertaining than that but oh oh it didn't work shoot oh okay well they're they're starting to plop out eggs now but yeah so eventually the chicks will be there sadly we're not getting any right now that kind of stinks um but yeah, so this should be a pretty consistent and very good food source for our early game here until we get the villagers with the golden carrots and we start making fat stacks of emeralds with that trading hall, uh, hallway tunnel thing over there that leads to our mine shaft now. So yeah, anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. Pretty easy episode today and I hope you all are doing very, very well. Uh, let me know down in the comments how, how your week has been going, how your day has been going, whatever you want. I love to hear from you guys. And thank you so much again to the Patreons and channel members for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.